Okay, this video is about hiding your VPN. Um, now, lots of people use VPNs for various reasons. Um, security, to keep their internet connection encrypted. Hide their location from websites uh, visiting. Hide all their activity in their ISP logs. Some people just use it for watching um, things like the BBC iPlayer from outside the UK or Hulu or Netflix from the US or whatever, for bypassing these sort of region blocks. But one of the problems some people have, particularly those involved in security, is that it's not actually that hard to detect when people are using a VPN. So I'm just going to show you something of how you can keep your VPN secret using some of the configuration options in the VPN I use. Okay, one of the problems with about keeping a VPN secret is... If you're using a VPN in any logs that are picked up of your activity at your ISP or perhaps you're using it from work or um, college or something, is that your internet activity using a VPN will look different from an ordinary web user who wasn't using a VPN. The main reason is that nearly everything will go through the single IP address of the VPN server. So if I've got a VPN enabled, the only thing that appears in my logs, nobody knows where I'm going, but there will be a single IP address. If you weren't using a VPN, there'd be lots of different IP addresses from Google, BBC, The Times, wherever you go, eBay, lots and lots of different IP addresses in your log. So without that variety, it's quite easy to detect the use of either a proxy or a VPN server. Okay, so in Identity Cloak, one of the ways we can get around this is by switching and rotating our IP address every so often automatically. Now they have a few, you see here, this is this is Identity Cloak. It sits in the taskbar here. It's my VPN service of choice and has been for several years. Those are all the servers I've got access to. Generally, um, I use it for um, watching the BBC, to be honest, and um, UK television from a, when I'm traveling. But <clears throat> here's all the servers and here's the uh, configuration option I want to show you here. Now, first of all, you can select a proxy. So you can define where you want your um, IP address to originate from. Let's say I want them all, I don't really care and I'll use any country. So I could click on any country there. Next is how often should Identity Cloaker switch? So zero means it doesn't switch, stay on the server you need. You'd use that if you're maybe watching something that's regional like Netflix, Hulu, because you need it to stay on the same country, so it's easier to not switch it. Um, a pretty secure option is put switch every five minutes. So every five minutes, this internet connection will switch to a different server. So the IP address will rotate, and it'll give you the impression of a normal VPN user. In fact, it's very, very difficult to detect that you're using a VPN if you, if you rotate your IP addresses like that. <coughs> The other setting I want to show you here is encryption. Now, a VPN is encrypted, a proxy isn't. Um, you can change the encryption level here. I've got it set at strong, which is 128-bit encryption. Um, if you move it up to max, let's just show you there, you'll cloak your traffic, and it's got a 256-bit AES cipher, which is kind of military grade. If you were um, using... Uh, just streaming video or what, uh, watching a film, streaming music or something, you could change your uh, encryption level to zero. So it doesn't, what that does, it reduces the um, overhead. So you can get sort of speed increases. And if you're streaming video, you don't really need to encrypt it anyway. <clears throat> again, disabling the encryption in ca uh, occasionally, again, makes your connection look like a normal web user. Okay, the next setting, there are loads of different settings in Identity Cloak. It's, it's a very advanced tool, but you don't need to touch those. I'm just showing you the ones that can help you hide your VPN. Let's go into settings here, and we go to cloaked applications. What you can also do is, in Identity Cloaker, is define what's cloaked, what's encrypted, what goes down the VPN tunnel, and what doesn't. Okay, so what you could do is you could decide that you've got one web browser, say Google Chrome, but it's not encrypted, doesn't go down the tunnel at all. You could use that for your normal browsing and whenever you want a bit of privacy or you want to hide your IP address or you're just using it to bypass a region lock, 
use the other browser. You can just configure that, click OK, and now every time when you um, start Identity Cloaker, Google Chrome is not encrypted. Is that it doesn't use a VPN tunnel? Okay. Again, it's useful sometimes if you if you want to have your IP address in different countries. So you could effectively have one browser which is UK based and another which is French based or US based or something like that without having to reconnect to different servers. Okay, and um, that's basically it. Those two are the most important things. There are you can go into different um, settings you can actually hide the port you're using because some um, you can detect um, things like Chinese firewall look for um, specific ports so you can change to alternative ports and use different um, things to hide your location that's really really hardcore security saying if you were you know really worried about being picked up maybe somewhere like Iraq, Iran, I don't know, um, places like that in China where they're, they're actually monitoring internet connections and you want to be as secure as possible. For the slightly paranoid of us, switching your IP address occasionally is more than enough to um, keep yourself um, secure. So that's it. That's my VPN hider settings in um, Identity Cloaker. Um, been using it for about eight, nine years now, I think. Um, again, a lot of it for the trivial way of just watching online TV and I do have the occasional connection to my online bookie which I can't use in all countries but I just fire up a UK VPN and then I can use Betfair. Okay and um, there's if you haven't tried Anticloaker there's a discount voucher on the link on the screen. Try the 10-day trial first to see if it's okay for you. Um, the voucher works on all the other subscriptions so you can come back and grab that anyway got any questions about some of the advanced settings i'll try and put those in another video because they're they're quite complicated some of them um but i'll leave it here for now okay thanks very much for watching and i hope you've enjoyed it